Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be going over how to find your perfect sensitivity in Rainbow Six Siege. This is mainly going to be for controller, but it also would work for uh, mouse and keyboard if you're playing on PC. So before we get into how you find your perfect sense, I know a lot of people want to see my sensitivity and settings. I get asked all the time in my comments. Um, if you didn't know, I do put it in the description of every video and I always have it updated, but I'll still go over everything here, including these settings. So... First in general, getting right into it, the only thing that really matters here is I use cycle camera groups on. I feel like it's easier, just got to learn how that works. Um, and then on drone after prep, make sure it's not on automatic so it doesn't kick you off your own drone. Either semi or manual. I use semi so it kicks me off my teammates drones because it doesn't really matter anyways. But yeah, that's pretty much everything there. For HUD, I use all default settings except for health. I just have that off. I feel like it's a little bit of a distraction so that's why, but... It really doesn't matter that much. Just a little personal thing I do. Um, for audio, the most important thing here is night mode. Um, you want your night mode on because it's easier to hear steps from farther away. But I have heard people that use TV and Hi-Fi that like it better. So, Also just personal preference, but that's what I prefer. I feel like I hear sounds way better. And for my audio, I use HyperX Cloud Earbuds. I get that ass a lot too, so... For anybody wondering, I don't use a headset, I use earbuds. Okay, for the display settings, I use VSync off. I do have a 165 hertz monitor, it's by ViewSonic, I'm looking at it right now, but just in case you're wondering what my monitor was. So I do get the 120 that the next-gen Xbox has, I have Series S. Um, so performance mode, then off or VSync. I heard on gives you some input delay, so I don't want that. I don't really know, I couldn't tell a difference in testing either way really. One day one felt smoother and one the the other setting felt smoother, so I just have it off, so no input delay. Um, for my HUD, I get this asked quite a bit too, why does it look different? It's because it's zoomed out more, because I have an 80, see so I'll do like 90. And then you can see it zooms my HUD out, or in, just like this. So by turning it to 80, it's smaller. I feel like it's easier to see because it's kind of in my viewing distance on the screen, since I sit pretty close to my monitor. So I feel like it's easier. Also, 84 FOV. I feel like that's the play. Next season, if you exclusively like use ACOGs, 90 might be the move, honestly. Since ACOGs are so zoomed in for 84, but I think 1Xs are going to be pretty good too, so I'll still use 84. Um, brightness is 65, by the way. Also, for um, display settings, I use the first color filter on the Xbox settings. Let me go to it. So go here to settings and then accessibility. First thing on the color filters... I use the red-green one. Um, I'm going over everything in this video, even the Xbox settings like this, because I know you guys want to see. So yeah, that's what I use for that. Let me go to controller as well while I'm here, just to show you everything. So on my controller, I don't know why it's not loading. That's not it. Actually, yeah, it is it. I don't use any like button binds, because um, I use the Elite 2 and then the Power A controller. It's the Spectre Infinity. I switched between the two right now. I'm using the Power A, but I do like the Elite 2 most of the time. Um, but yeah, for both those controllers, I use the back left paddle for crouch, and that's it. That's the only thing I do. And I use the trigger stops on the middle setting. I think that's everything pretty much, though. So yeah, B is for crouch still, but I don't actually use B. I use the back left paddle. Um, I use Galaxy Control Freak Grips as well, in case you're wondering about controller. I use the short rise or the low rise on the left and then the high rise on the right. They're the white ones, if I didn't say that before. But yeah, that's everything for that. Um, I also have my controller wired to my Xbox. I feel like there's less delay as well compared to wireless, but I'm not sure. I just feel like it's better that way because it's not like I sit far from my Xbox anyway, so I don't need the wireless. I know batteries are annoying too. Okay, on controls though, again, I'm going very in depth with this video. Trying to answer every question people have been asking in the comments. I use leaning behavior on alternate, so that way you can lean from the hip on console. Drone deployment advanced as well, so you don't automatically go on your drone when you throw it. Makes for some good baits. Gadget deployment as well, so then get stuck on that. Disabled vibration. Nothing fancy here. It says custom, but I have no other mind, so there's that. Um, classic rotation, I don't like update, I've never really tried it. 5580 for my sensitivity. I know my vertical's a little higher than usual, but I do like it now and I'm used to it. I barely have to pull down on my right stick at all. It does take some practice though. 
for dead zones, eight and three or what I roll with. Um, I do have a little bit of left stick d drift, even with eights, but I don't like the delay, so I do like what I'm using there. Especially for the right stick, I don't... If I get stick drift on the right, like, I can't even use it at that point. I need a new controller. It's, like, unusable. Um, I use zero for the dead zones on both controllers. And here's my ADS. I've been trying the uh, 2.5 out, like, trying to practice for next season. And I've been liking 40. I did like 43 for a bit, but it's a little too high. I think 40 is a good mix, kind of, since you're so zoomed in. Like, going from the 1.5 to the 2.5 is double the difference between the 1 and the 1x. Or the, the 1 and the 1.5x. So I feel like you need a little bit higher there. And in, anywhere between 37 and 43 is what I've been trying, though. Um, I use disable for the advanced options too, all on zero. And then on accessibility here, I use black optic, 100. I might switch this next season because they're doing like the whole, the hollow A is like thicker. I don't know if that's going to make it to the live build. If it does, this might have to go down to like 50 or something so I can actually see with that. And then turn screen check off every time. Your team color orange and then get the enemies blue. That makes seeing claymores and other gadgets easier, but especially claymores. I figure the blue light is way easier. That's just personal preference, though. You can go with it if you want. And then that stuff. Okay, so this is why you uh, clicked on the video, most likely. Unless you just wanted my settings. So I'm going to show you how to find the perfect sensitivity for you, like yourself. Not mine, but, but rather like how you feel in the game. So come up here. I'm on Nighthaven Labs, but you can do this on other maps, too. You just got to find like these little lines. I feel like this is a good one, though, because the lines are a good little distance apart, but not too far. So I recommend going like five meters maybe. Actually, let's go like seven. Okay, so aim at this middle one right here and you're gonna wanna try to flick to like the one next to it as fast as you can, but you don't wanna like over flick it too much. Maybe like a little bit's off, like this is fine here, like this, but don't be like way over here. And now if you flick like this when you're trying to go to that one every time, like try to make it like pretty fast flicks too. You don't wanna go like this. That's not even a flick, you know? You wanna try to do like that. So if you're like overshooting it like this every single time, your 1.5 is probably too high and you want to switch that. Or whatever like scope you're using, like the pistol even. You can do it with anything. So if you're going like over every time, that means your sensitivity is too high. So go into your sense, either turn your horizontal down by like 5 or turn your ADS sense down, whatever scope it is. Turn it down by like 3 and then try it again. I feel like those are good increments to kind of work with at the start when you're trying to find your sense. Um, so let me do that again. And now if you're going short like this, like you can't even get there every time when you're about to go back, then you're going to want to do the exact opposite, either turn up by five or up by three on the ADS sense. Now this may take some time and some tweaking, but eventually it should help a lot. This is what I originally did when I switched my sense. Um, it was quite a bit ago now, like six to eight months ago. It was actually on these videos I switched it. I used to run 4060 instead of 5580. Um, but I did go up to that because I was under flicking everything and I feel way more comfortable now on a higher one. I might even go even higher, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, after you do the first line, though, come out to the second one and see how that looks. Yeah, mine's definitely like better on this line. It doesn't go like as far wide or whatever. And try to like speed it up too and see as fast as you can get it. But yeah, I think that's the best way to do this. Um, before we end this video off too, I'm going to show you a recoil thing. So, one second. So, we're loading up into the shooting range right now. I want to show you this before I end this video off. I know it's going to be a shorter video, but just trying to show you all my settings and everything. Just a bonus tip before we end this though. So, just take any gun really. I'm showing you how to control recoil better. I get asked this all the time too in my comments. I'll show you a really, really good drill that I feel like a lot of people don't even try. But it's such a good method to fix your recoil, or just improve it in general. Um, so make sure infinite magazine ammo is on. All the other stuff doesn't really matter. Just make sure that's set on, begin. Now when this loads up, you literally can't run an ammo. Your ammo does not change the entire time, as you can see. I mean, I'm gonna get Cronus comments I already know in the video. I don't care, I'm not cheating. This is just my recoil with a controller. I do have a hand cam video like a week ago if you want to check that out. 
Um, so yeah, I'm not using like a Zim or anything or whatever. But yeah, that's the a really good tip to control recoil. Because you can just do this infinitely. You never have to stop shooting your gun. And you can do it for any gun too. Like, um, you have to abort first. I'll take out the SMG-12 because people ask me about this all the time, specifically. SMG-12 and SMG-11. This one's like obviously the highest recoil gun in the game pretty much. But yeah, you can literally start trying to shoot against the wall like this. You can see I'm not a Cronus too because I'm like trying to control that. So that proves it right there. But yeah, that's not too bad for that gun. And just keep practicing. Also another thing. Say you're shooting here, try to like flick over and spray transfer it. Try to be like really clean with it and keep it controlled. Because it is a lot harder to do that like when you transfer it over somewhere. It starts jumping a lot more. Because your stick's moving actively. Maybe even move around too. Just like that. Eventually your thumb is going to feel that and it's going to help your muscle memory a lot. Just don't do it too much. You don't want to like hurt your thumbs or whatever. Never do that. Never go to the point where it's hurting. You can also do the exact same thing, but try to flick onto the uh, balls. Like literally just keep shooting your gun and try to like flick onto them as fast as you can. Make sure they're moving too, obviously. It makes it harder. I have all the random settings on too, so some are smaller, some are bigger. We love some smaller and bigger balls out here. But yeah, that's a really good drill. You can do this with any gun, by the way. You don't have to start with the SMG-12. That's going to be like the hardest option you have. Um, but if you get there, that will help you a lot. I mean, before we end this, obviously I had to show you my recoil with the R4C extended and angle grip. And yeah, as you can see, that thing does not move. And this is like one of the things I did to really improve my recoil control a few months ago. I was doing these like quite a good little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. That's pretty much going to be it for this one. Um, I just wanted to go over all my settings and stuff like I said because I've been getting requested it so much. And the new season is right around the corner now. It's going to be just over a week from when this is released. I think eight days. I heard it's going to be the 12th when it comes out. So very soon. I'm very excited about that. But leave a like down there if this helped you out. Or if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.